is Thurston Wheelis. And this is Arliss Struby. And this is the Wheelis Struby Report. And now for the news. Take it away, Thurston. Well, folks, in the news today, we have the winner of the Tuna Junior High American Heritage Essay Contest for this year. And this year's winner is Connie Carp. Her essay was titled, Human Rights. Why bother? <laughs> Second place went to Jimbo Beaumont for Living with Radiation. <laughs> and third place went to Levita Posey for her essay entitled The Other Side of Bigotry. <laughs> well, I tell you, Arliss, with subjects like that, I don't know how they picked a winner. I don't either. I tell you, it ought to make the citizens of Tuna proud to know that we're still producing well-educated students who know what America is all about. <coughs> they do. They do, they, well, they do. I always thought they well, thank did. You, yes, Barney. sir. This just mm -hmm. Excuse oh. me, Thurston. Go right ahead. Oh, now I've got some bad news for the greater Tuna area. Former county judge Roscoe Buckner died at his home yesterday. He suffered a severe stroke. Shoot. Now, Buckner, who was the judge in the greater Tuna area for 47 years, and who hung more people in the 30s than any other active judge, <laughs> had a history of heart trouble. Now, the judge will lie in state at Hubert Funeral Home starting at 12 noon today, and Wexler Hubert says if you're going to come before noon, you're going to have to wait because the judge won't be ready till noon. <laughs> well, I tell you folks, that is some bad news. It is. It is. It is. It, it, is, it, is, it, is. it is. Yes, it is. <laughs> and now on the art scene. The on-again, off-again auditions for the Tuna Little Theater production of My Fair Lady are on again. Now, they had been called off due to lack of budget. But Joe Bob Lipsy, who was the director of this year's show, and a recent graduate of Southwest Texas Eastern A&I State University, <laughs> says that he has found a way to go ahead with the production this year by using the sets and costumes from last year's show of South Pacific. <laughs> now, according to Joe Bob, this is going to be the first production ever of My Fair Lady set in Polynesia. <laughs> well, you never know. Something like that is just liable to put us on the map. On it. On it. On it. On on it. it. Oh, they'll find us. Yes, they will. Yes, they, they will. They will. They will. <laughs> so, Joe Bob says get on your Hawaiian shirts and your grass skirts and your coconuts. You can get out here to the way to Baptist Church at 8 30 Thursday night and audition for My Fair Lady. And it says here he wants to integrate the cast this year, so if you know any Negro or Mexican American actors or actresses, you have them come on out and audition for the chorus. That's right. Come on out. Come on out. Come on out. You never know. You just might get a part. You might. Hell, you just might. Yes. 